Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today I'm coming at you with another iPhone, iPad game overview slash review slash gameplay, whatever you want to call it. So the name of this game is Demons vs. Fairyland. Uh, it's a really cool game. Uh, don't let the name scare you away. It is a tower defense game uh, from the guys over at Storm Alligator, uh, which is an awesome name in itself. So as you can see, the art style is very colorful and very awesome in my opinion. So let's go ahead and jump into it and let's see what it's all about. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into my save file here so I can show you just a little bit about what the game is about. So uh, as you see here at the bottom, you're going to see a few different options. You're going to see a little treasure chest that says gears. Uh, this game is different than most tower defense games in that like you collect all of these different gears uh, and all of these gears have different uh, attributes and, and you can equip three gears at a time. So like this one here uh, gives my chain lightning ability 5% more damage. This little guy here uh, makes my haunted houses cost 2% less. So in the scheme of things, if you play your cards right uh, and unlock the uh, appropriate gears, you can actually really help your gameplay uh, and you can equip three of those at a time. Next, you'll see upgrades. This is fairly uh, standard for a tower defense game, except that it has somewhat of a talent tree. Uh, so you have three different types of uh, houses or types of towers that you will be building. This one here is called the haunted house. Uh, this is the one for your melee attackers with skeletons. This one here are your archers, and this one here is your somewhat of a, a mage tower or magic dealers, damage dealers, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then under each one of these categories, you're going to see uh, different attributes that you can put certain skill points that you earn by defeating certain levels. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade, upgrade that all the way, and then go ahead and upgrade that a couple times. So once you beat a level, you'll get three of these uh, skill points to put into any tree that you want. Uh, and then once you get down to the bottom of that tree, it gives you a really nice big boost. So that is upgrades. Uh, in the D VFpedia, uh, you're going to see the different enemies that you have faced thus far in your journey. So you can click on those, read about their damage and their shield attributes there. Uh, and then over here, you'll see your badges. This is basically your achievement panel uh, via Game Center. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into a level now. So uh, here at the loadout screen, you're going to see the chapter or level that you're at. A little bit about that level, maybe some of the enemies that are in there. You can change the difficulty by clicking on that there. Uh, you got easy and normal unlock to begin with. Uh, for the sake of the video, I'm going to keep it on easy, but uh, it does get difficult when you ramp up the level. Over to the left here, uh, you will have some in-app purchases. If you want to buy them, you do not have to. There's no time gate on this game. Uh, you can purchase different uh, abilities here on the left, special abilities, and it tells you all about them. You can buy them with the premium currency, which is candy uh, per se. So Candy Crush didn't lock down uh, that candy uh, whatever you want to call it, so they can use candy in their game. But anyways, let's go ahead and start the mission, and let's take a look at what it looks like. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. So here you go. It's going to give you some tips in the beginning. Uh, you also have support towers, uh, which is something a little different uh, than you see in most tower defense games. So when you start off, you have a certain amount of gold, which is in the upper left-hand corner, and then you have a certain amount of mana, which is a little blue multi triangle thing there in the left hand corner uh, and you can use that up to begin with so let's go ahead and place a haunted house I'm gonna go ahead and do that now so once you click on it you can place it anywhere you want so I'm gonna go ahead and place it there I'm gonna go ahead and do that uh, and then I'm gonna go back and place an archer tower so I want those guys right here no no let's do it there and then I want my magic dealing tower I want it to go maybe right there uh, so you want your melee guys to be underneath the tower so that that way they're stalling the enemies as the towers are pounding away at them. So I'm going to go ahead and go back and add one of the haunted houses here. So we'll add it there and you'll see the skeleton melee, melee guys come out. Here I'm going to add an archery tower. I'm going to do that by clicking on that and then placing it in any of the appropriate blocks. I'm going to go ahead and put one there and then I'm going to get some magic dealing guys and I'm going to put them maybe right there will be good for now. And let's put another one. No, nope, let's put another one maybe right there. Go back, maybe do one more melee tower right there. And now we're ready to go. Now, when you're ready for the enemies to start to spawn, you go ahead and hit the green start button in the upper uh, center of the screen. It'll tell you about the incoming wave. It says 16 rookie and 18 soldiers. Click it one more time, and they are now ready to go. Over on the right-hand screen, you're going to see something come up. These are your special abilities. Uh, they all cost mana, which is that blue circular triangle thing up in the, the corner there. Uh, so you got to make sure you manage 
manage that well. Uh, so I can do something here for 100 mana. I can click on that and then click on a few of these bad guys and boom, it gets rid of all of them or gets rid of all of them at the same time. Now, as you can see here, as with any tower defense game, I'm going to accumulate more and more gold. And as I do, I can click on my towers that I already have. And then this comes available and I could actually go ahead and upgrade that one there. So I'll go ahead and hit the green arrow and then hit it one more time to upgrade that tower. So now that tower not only has more defense, but also puts out more damage. So just like any tower defense game, you're going to be able to upgrade and upgrade until you get all kinds of cool stuff, uh, as you saw earlier with the attributes and whatnot. So uh, right now I'm not doing too well because I'm, I'm focused more on talking to you guys than I am the game. So let's go ahead and upgrade. Oh, I can't upgrade that guy as of yet. So we'll wait till we get a little more uh, gold in, until we're able to do that. So uh, just kind of wait and see. Uh, also, you can click over here on your ma mana uh, special ability and you can see here one of them is to summon a zombie which who doesn't like zombies right so click on that uh, one time and then put down wherever you want it under one of your towers and there you go a zombie has arisen from the dead and is now attacking the enemies for you so that's a pretty cool uh, ability there as far as what I think of the game so far I've played a lot of it on my iPhone this is the iPad version the HD version the HD version is $299 uh, iPad our iPhone version is 99 cents I um, don't quote me on that but I'll put it on the sides here once I figure out exactly what that is now, uh, if the enemies get all the way to the end of the path and they attack the little children here, uh, you see the little children there uh, at the end of the path. That's You want to protect those guys. You want to protect your children there. Uh, so you want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and click on one of those mana dealing guys, and I'm going to upgrade him now just like so. Uh, so now he's a little beefier so he can destroy the enemies a little quicker for me. But as I was saying, uh, you want to protect those children there at the end, and the more children you have alive at the end of the game, the more points that you will accumulate. So I'm going to go ahead and basically pause the game uh, because I want to take you guys out of the game. So as with any other game, you can turn the, the uh, effect sounds on or off, the music on or off. Uh, we can go back and quit uh, here back to the main menu uh, because you kind of got that there. This is the main map. You gain levels as you do with any of the other games. So more levels you unlock, obviously, the more tribute points you get, the more gears you get uh, as you d defeat uh, certain enemies. So the flags go up with three stars uh, if you've defeated that area. So again, the name of the game is Demons vs. Fairyland. Hit me up on Game Center if you want to challenge me on this game or any other game. I'm always on there. I love to play with you guys. Uh, anyways, if you like this video or technology or gaming or anything in that uh, category, please do subscribe to my channel. It's an awesome channel. Uh, it's a great community there uh, for tutorials, game videos, news videos, whatever it may do. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Uh, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button down below because it does help me out uh, and helps me put gas in my car. Uh, and I appreciate every one of you guys, and I will see you in the next one.